Okay, welcome to a walkthrough of a four mark question for Edexcel. We take past paper questions and some of our own and explain how to get top marks. So in a four mark question, you're going to get a stem, a brief uh, bit of text or data perhaps in the form of a table. And uh, in Edexcel, paper one and paper two, the four mark questions are explain questions. So here's the context in a major reform of its command economy. Uh, the Cuban government is going to allow small private businesses to operate in most industries, most fields. And free market economists have often called for the role of small business or entrepreneurship to be expanded to help jump start to the economy, hinting there at some economic concepts and to create jobs. So here's the question, a formal question with reference to the information provided. Explain one advantage of a free market economy. Now, you don't need to write a lot. But the key here is to use the STEM and to be really clear about how a move towards a free market system might have an economic benefit. So here's my here's my answer. It might be a little long, but let's let's work through it. A free market economy typically has many private sector profit seeking businesses and crucially, scarce resources are allocated by the free functioning of the price mechanism with the absence of government intervention. Government has a role to play protection of property rights, maintaining rule of law, etc. But uh, essentially, the, the government doesn't intervene in markets day to day. If more small businesses operate in a reformed Cuban economy, I link there back to the STEM, uh, and then a bit of application, perhaps across into this. So the STEM talks about most fields. So I've brought in uh, retail, tourism, often sectors where small businesses flourish, particularly in emerging uh, transition economies. We might ex one advantage is we might expect to see greater competition or greater contestability, leading to lower prices, higher real incomes, and an improvement in economic efficiency. So what I'm trying to do there is just bring in some concepts: real incomes, improved allocative efficiency as prices fall, and small firms competing against each other might also drive higher labour productivity, output per worker or output per person hour. So the main advantage in theory of economic reforms might be a faster rate of economic growth. Now, I could have made that slightly more succinct and in future videos, we'll look at examples of where you can write less and get the same same mark. But what's happening there clearly is I'm linking back to the STEM. And the examiner's comment is that marks were awarded for the ability to explain how Cuba's reforms create the opportunity for the price mechanism for market forces to flourish, thereby generating a range of possible benefits for the Cuban economy. So there's our first four markers. Stay tuned. We will be looking at other examples of questions and how to get full marks on your papers.